So, all these contracts are actually tradable as a pair. Um, let's have a look at this. Now, what we're looking for when we look at pair trades is two curves that are what we call co-integrated. And the easiest way to understand co-integration is in terms of the analogy of the drunk and his dog. So imagine a drunk person walks across a park and it just takes a really random walk and the steps are really random back and forth and this person has a dog without a leash and the dog is also just randomly running around the person now if you look at those two walks in isolation you can see that just totally random the dog walks in a random fashion and the man walks in a random fashion as well but if the dog is owned by the drunk man then most likely if you look at the two in combination you will see that they both have more or less the same trajectory and so this is what we also call co-integration so while their walks are essentially more or less random in isolation together they're actually not random anymore at all and in a way they are predictable because what happens is if the dog diverges too far from the man the dog will always come back to the man. So the man takes the random walk and the dog will be a little bit further away, a little bit closer and so on. So this is what we call a co-integrated process. Do we have a co-integrated process? Um, let's check it out. So what we can do is to make these two price curves a bit more similar is to normalize them by their standard deviation. So let's do this. So what we do here is basically we say RB and then we divide this by, oops, we divide this by the standard deviation. So we go adjust the cost of STD. We put a bracket around that and then we plot it and we do the same for our crude oil so let's do this CL here CL and then we plot it and there we go we can actually see that those two are really really quite similar so once we adjust them for the standard deviation we can see that they behave in very similar ways and you can see that um, crude oil which is the orange curve is in essence a little bit similar uh, to um, to the man and then um, sorry uh, crude oil is a bit similar to the dog and, and uh, uh, orange uh, gasoline is a bit more similar to the men so so that um, the uh, gasoline just revolves around crude oil here so so you could see crude oil was second so it's orange and it's a bit less volatile than the gasoline and and so we we get this uh, drunk and dog scenario here now um, in order to get a little bit of a better representation of this what we really want to look at is the difference between the two so we say well what is the difference between the two look like and is it always somewhat in the same ballpark and the difference between the two is really equivalent to the distance that the man and the dog have and so it's gonna be a bit further sometimes sometimes a bit closer and in order to do this all we have to do is really just take the um, take the two values and subtract them from each other so we go CL minus RB so often um, and then we just plot this And you can see here that actually this distance is always reverting around an average value um, and if we put
put a grid in there that makes it even more obvious and we make the figure a bit larger too fig size equals 15 10 and we can see here actually this value oscillates around some average value so that's really great because what this does is it actually makes this whole thing quite predictable because when we say well if we divert too much from the average value let's just say the average is somewhere around zero so if we divert too much from it we will always come back to the zero value so if we divert um, quite far into the negative uh, direction we're basically buying low we're going long and then um, as the price changes it drops back to zero we're exiting that trade and we made the difference between here and here and likewise if we if it diverts too much in the positive direction we're going short and then as uh, the price as we ex would expect drops again uh, we're going back to zero and so this seems to happen with a fair amount of consistency and that's great news because what that does is it makes our portfolio of gasoline and crude oil somewhat predictable and when something is predictable we can actually trade it uh, with a fair consistency and uh, we can make consistent profit 